In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to do destructible environments, destroying tiles, destroying the scenery in Arcade County. So, what we've got here is just a little fake Super Mario demo that I'm working on, and controlling Mario, we can run around and in this world, and you see I'm jumping. I don't have a sound effect applied to his jump yet, so I'm jumping. And I'm not smashing these blocks like I'd like to be, so we're going to rectify that here in a moment. So, let's see, where should we begin? Well, I guess we should begin by showing how this works. So, um, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you my Mario character. We're going to go to Edit Animations. I'm going to show you the jump. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. And what I've done is, you see, I've got the little uh, gear, uh, the little wrench icon here, which means there's something here. There's another sprite here. What I've got, I've got a little hit box here with Mario Block Smash set to the behavior, and I put it above my Mario, right around where the fist is. You see the outline of Mario, and uh, if you need to look up, if you don't understand what's going on here, you need to look up the, the animation uh, tutorial on YouTube or ArcadeCounty.com in the tutorial section, or you can get it right inside the workshop uh, in the Arcade County Game Builder down at the bottom of this, the main screen. And what I've got is I've got this little hitbox here, which I can drag around, and this hitbox is what's going to trigger a tile being destroyed. And I've got it above Mario, so as Mario's jumping up, once this hitbox collides with one of these brick tiles, it's going to smash the tile. And I've got that for both jumping directions. You see, I've got one there as well. And you want to be careful, because if I were to put this hitbox below this line, uh, this outline of Mario, then it's possible that Mario's head could hit the block, and it may never smash it. So you always want what's going to destroy the tile outside of of your uh, your main character. So now let's go look at our tiles and we need to load up the SMBB anchor. And now here's the tile that I'm going to be uh, breaking. I'm not using this one. So when we click on this you'll see something pops up. We've got, first of all, we've got set tile to BG color which uh, will basically change our background to a gray. We want our background to stay white or light blue I should say. We've also got destroy tile settings. Now we can do we can drag a section and we can set all of that entire section to a specific setting. We're just going to do this one little block. So now let's click on destroy tile settings. So now up here at the top, the first thing we want to do, sprite that damages. And that's going to be our hitbox. And I'm going to have to look through these because I'm not sure what the hitbox was called. Uh, let's see. Mario Block Smash. Uh, so that's the name of the sprite, that little box. That's the name of it. So. Now we want to say uh, only damage if colliding at these directions. And what this means is, for example, this means it's only going to damage the tile if you're hitting it from the left, meaning here's your sprite and this is the direction you're hitting it. So you're hitting it, your, your sprite is on the left and the tile is on the right. Um, so we're just going to select all of these because it doesn't... Actually, you know what? Uh, let's see, we do want it to only go up, actually. Because if we set this then if he jumps over to the side, it's possible, but probably unlikely, that he could hit it from that angle. Um, but you can play around with this. See, then we say Add to List, and this is an editable list that uh, you can you can just you can sit here and edit this like a text field. Or you can enter these manually if you want, and you can see the the formula. We've got the name of the sprite, a colon, and then the direction. If we had more of these, would be U D L R, damage slash one. That's how many hit points you damage it for. So. We've got that added to the list, so now this tile will be damaged, it'll be destroyed. So we can go ahead and test this right now. Let's see that it works. So now we jump. You can see that the tile is destroyed. Let's oh I didn't want to do that. Click off of Mario so you can see this working. So we're just jumping up and it's removing these tiles. Let's go ahead and refresh this level. But we want to make it look a lot better than that because quite frankly that wasn't very cool. So we're going to add some stuff to this. So tile hit points, we want it to have one hit point. Injury delay zero. Death delay, we actually want to increase the death delay to, let's increase it to about five. And the reason why we want to do that, you'll notice when he jumped up, we still got the tiles open up, when he jumped up he kept going through because as soon as the block is removed it's no longer going to block his outline his uh, bounding box. So he'll just keep going through. So what we do is when we delay the death, what'll happen is it'll be five frames before it actually changes the tile to being removed. Now it'll immediately remove it visually, but by setting up that death delay, 
Mario will still go up, his head will still hit, and he'll still go back down. And this makes it exactly how it works in uh, the earlier Super Mario Brothers games. Well, pretty much everything, ironically, except Super Mario World, where you, I don't think you really broke blocks with your fist on Super Mario World. I don't remember doing it. They had those little spinning blocks. But I don't think you, uh, you broke bricks in uh, Super Mario World. So now we want to do some other stuff. Uh, we've got damage, and you could say if you have uh, also injury delay, that's sort of like an invincibility timer. If you want to have 10 hit points for a tile and you slowly uh, wear it down, you can set an injury delay so it doesn't just, you know, if, if something's touching it, it'll pretty much be gone in 10 frames, so it'll go very by very quickly. So we can set a damage sprite, behavior, sound, and script, all of that to spawn when a tile gets damaged, but we're killing a sprite. So what we want to do is we want to have, uh, first of all, sound. We want the brick hit sound. We don't want to run a script, but we do want to spawn a sprite. And what we're going to spawn is... I'm going to figure out which one, these is, uh, which one this is. I think it is Little Brick. And then the sprite is Little Block L. So let me set this up and explain what this is. Um, I may have done this incorrectly. We're going to find out in a moment. What I'm doing is, when the block gets smashed in Super Mario Brothers, you see these little bricks fly out. So what I've done is I've created a little brick sprite, which is going to spawn. And anytime you spawn this, it'll spawn right in the middle, so you'll have to align it through the animation editor, through the graphic and animation editor, that is. So I've got a little brick that's going to spawn. He's going to be facing the left, and I've given him a behavior. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. And like I said, I may have done this incorrectly. We'll find out. No, that's exactly how I wanted it. Whoops, didn't jump high enough. You can see that I'm going back down after I hit it, and I can jump back through. So you'll notice there's three blocks, even though I only had it set to spawn one sprite. You'll see there's one sprite little brick. So let me explain to you specifically what's going on. You're going to see some Mega Man sprites here in a second because... Uh, I've been working on a lot of different things, and I've got a couple of Mario's. So here's Little Brick, and let me show you how this works. You see that I've got two bricks here, so we go to Edit Animations. Now here's what's happening. My behavior has this block set to jump. Uh, the, excuse me, the pattern. The pattern that I've got has the block set to jump. So as soon as it spawns, a pattern loads which sets it to jump. It's facing to the left. You'll notice I've got a little gear here. You'll notice that there's a couple of blocks here. What I'm doing is, as soon as it starts to jump, I spawn two more blocks. This block right here is going to use the little block down uh, behavior, which has it just fly straight up in the air and then down. This one right here, let's see if I can grab it, little block two, these are the sprites, it's going to have it going to the right. So let's go ahead and just take a look very quickly at one of these patterns. Let's go to sprites and behaviors, and it's little little block R, for example. Let's look at the pattern. So the pattern I've got, jump, right, so it'll do those on the same frame. Wait 10, jump off, wait 100. Um, and I've also got all these set to kill themselves after 100 frames. So they'll fly up through the screen, they'll jump, they'll go down, and then they'll disappear. So that's how we end up with the three different blocks. Whoops. And that's how you do destructible tiles. Now, something else you can do, I'm just going to show this very briefly. You can also create tiles. So if you wanted to do a, uh, if you wanted to do something where you could, uh, I'm trying to think of an example. I guess the biggest, the best example would be Minecraft, where you make a block. If you wanted to have a game where maybe you could collect bricks, and every brick you collected, you could create a block, um, then what you could do is, let's show you how this works very quickly. Let's go to Edit. We'll just edit Mario, and let's say, um, uh, let's say when he jumps. Where's his jump? Here's his jump. We've already got that hit box. Let's open that up. Now what we can do is we can actually drag and drop a tile. So if you wanted him to create one of these, we just drag and drop it and put it right there. And it'll create a tile, and then we can select which layer it goes on. So every time he jumps, he's going to create one of these blocks over to the side. Now this is going to be ridiculous. Let me go ahead and refresh this. Um, this is going to be really ridiculous. It's not going to make any sense, but I'm just going to show you that it works. So as he jumps, he's creating one of these blocks. And because we're not looping the animation, it's only doing it one time. If we had the animation looped, it would do it multiple times. He's going to get stuck in here in a second. So that's creating and destroying tiles. Whoa! Knocked me out. 
creating and destroying tiles in the Arcade County Game Builder.